What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here with another update video for you today. The draw has been made for the Carabao Cup third round. It was made at the same time as the second round draw was made and we have got a very, very interesting tie. Um, obviously the second round games have to be played before we know who we actually get in the third round, but the draw was made and we got an away tie to either Plymouth Argyle or Leighton Orient. Now, if Leighton Orient win this game against Plymouth and we go and play them, it will be it will be an emotional game actually, just because of Justin Edinburgh. Obviously, we all know that he was the manager of Leighton Orient when he passed away so tragically. And um, he's a big legend at Tottenham, obviously last winning the FA Cup in 91, winning the Carling Cup or the League Cup, as you say, in 99, um, playing a number of games for Tottenham Hotspur. The guy is a true Tottenham legend. So I just hope we play Leighton Orient in the next round. I think it will be it will be a special occasion. It really will. Um, so let's see what happens with that one. Hopefully Leighton Orient can pull through against Plymouth in the second round. Um, and now let's move on to some transfer news. And Alistair Gold has been... Um, talking a lot in the last 24 hours or last 48 hours and he claims that what well, which was previously stated that Tottenham it's a one in one out situation now but uh, there's been some new news that have come to light and it is that Tottenham have set aside money and have funds available to bring in a striker and that striker who is strongly linked at the moment is Habib Diallo of Metz uh, plays in the French League. Uh, he had a sensational season the year before last in the in the second division in France, scoring 26 goals in, I think, in about 36 games, which was a sensational strike rate. Uh, since they got promoted, he had a, he had a not bad season, scoring 12 goals um, in the top tier in France for Metz. Um, he's a leader. He was captain on many occasions for last season and met. So, look, is this one where I hope to get over the line? I'm not too sure because I haven't seen him play. But if you have seen him play, let me know in the comment section below. Is he a striker that will fit our style? Is he a striker that we should get excited about? I'm not too sure. He's one of those where, you know, Danny Rose went on a few years ago where we would have to Google. So, all of you get your Google searches ready because Habib Diallo is strongly linked with Tottenham. Um, but yeah, remains to be seen what's going to happen. I know obviously we've been linked with Callum Wilson a lot in the past or throughout this transfer window, to be honest. And he has had, well, Bournemouth has accepted a 20 million bid from Newcastle for the striker. So it looks like that one could be snipping away from us as we look closer at Habib Diallo of Mets. Uh, but let's move on and a bit of an international roundup for you guys. Yesterday, England played against Iceland. As many of you probably know, the game finished 1-0 to England from a late penalty from Raheem Sterling. Straight after that penalty, Iceland went up the other end after a foul from Joe Gomez in the box. Um, Iceland got a penalty and that game finished 1-0 as Iceland skied that penalty well over the bar. But Harry Kane did complete 78 minutes, having a goal disallowed in the first half. Eric Dyer completing 90 minutes and probably the man of the match on the day as he was probably the best player on the pitch for England. And very commanding performance at centre back. Uh, moving on to France, they beat Sweden 1 0. Hugo Lloris, captain on the day, was played 90 minutes, and Moussa Soko was an unused sub for France. And for the final game with Spurs players involved was Belgium against Denmark, as there were players on both sides. Toby Alderweireld on the Belgian side, Pierre Emil Hoybier. On the Denmark side, the game finished 2-0 to Belgium. Uh, Jan Vertonghen also playing, so that was a nice little gift for Toby Alderweireld to play with Jan Vertonghen again and Christian Eriksen playing uh, for the Danes. Uh, there was a lovely picture from after the game. All four of them were, were chatting after the game. Um, and yeah, it was great to see. Now, today in, in the international games, you've got Ben Davis as we speak playing for Wales against Bulgaria. And later on today, you'll have Matt Doherty playing for Republic of Ireland against Finland in the Nations League. So keep an eye out for those scores. We'll bring you an update of what happens in those games tomorrow. But let me just recap on the news that I've brought to you. Tottenham have been drawn against Leighton Orient or Plymouth Argyle. Habib Diallo has been strongly linked with Tottenham. Um, it, so as it was reported earlier that it is a one-in, one-out case for Tottenham Hotspur, but that will only be after we bring in a striker. So funds have been set aside for Spurs to sign a striker. And after that, it will be one-in, one-out. So we won't be able to bring in anyone until we sell players. Uh, we will also be bringing a video of a season review and kind of 
talking about which players which we can sell to bring in funds, so check out for that. Um, we brought you a bit of an international roundup as well, which we'll be carrying on to bring to you until the international break ends. But only one week to go till the start of the season, so everyone is getting very excited for that. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any comments regarding any of the news I brought to you today. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on you Spurs. <laughs>